How you doing? Mr. DJ here, running really late tonight. I was hoping to cut about four or five videos, but once again, computer giving me a headache. It is very, very slow tonight. I'll probably be lucky if I can do two or three tonight. It is very, very early on a Friday morning, 1.52 a.m., the morning of October 9, 2010, 2015, rather. But uh, I want to go back to Billboard's Hot 100, October 5, 1968. It's just a fantastic Hot 100. But, they, but again, we're talking about the year 1968, one of the best years ever. And uh, coming in at number 96 that week, a lost 45. This is a tearjerker. Along the Lines of Honey by Bobby Goldsboro. Ronnie Dove, Tomboy. A lost 45. Only got as high as 96. On Billboard's Hot 100 for three weeks. Of course, now, by 1968, Ronnie Dove had, had run out of momentum. His day had really passed. Well, let me go back on Ronnie Dove from Virginia. He's from Virginia. His dad was a cop. He started singing in the nightclubs in Baltimore. Formed a band called the Bell Tones. The Bell Tones, they started playing the clubs in Baltimore. And they released a couple of records. Uh, they they uh, released a record called Lover Boy. And they also released their version of Party Doll, the Buddy Knox record, Party Doll, but didn't do anything. He signed a, well, Ronnie Dove went solo, signed a deal with Diamond Records in 1960. He was with Diamond Records for about 10 years, and that's when the hit started to flow. Starting in uh, 19, well, I guess his first really big hit was in 1964, Say You, and then there was Right or Wrong, which was originally covered by Wanda Jackson. 1965 was a good year for Ronnie Dove. Uh, when liking turns to loving, <laughs> ah, yes, one kiss for old time's sake. It's kiss away. I can hear it right now. Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones on 89 WLS. Here is Roddy Dub, his brand new one called Kiss Away. I mean, it's just, this. these are more sock hop titles than they are mid to late 60s titles. Roddy Dub, definitely not part of your sex, drug, and rock and roll set. This guy would not be performing. This guy would probably be a lot more comfortable performing in Las Vegas as opposed to Woodstock or Monterey. Very mainstream singer. Never had a top 10 hit, but he had plenty of top 20s. Cry was one of them. Or at least, he, I believe it went to number 18. The Johnny Ray record, that was in 1966. Happy Summer Days. Ronnie Dove, 1966, 1967. And uh, this record I want to play for you uh, called Tomboy. One other thing I want to mention about uh, Ronnie Dove real quick. He was going to retire a few years ago, about a year ago. His health was declining, but he was getting better. And so he canceled his retirement. That's according to Wikipedia. That is the latest from Wikipedia. When Diamond Records folded in 1970, Ronnie Dove, he, he signed with various record labels over the years. He signed with Decca labels. And he also signed with, uh, later on, he signed with the Melody Land label, which was a country and western division of Motown, and he released some singles, but nothing ever charted. Started his own nightclub in the 80s, singing in his own nightclub. Very lucrative engagement. He didn't put down that microphone. Great performer, Ronnie Dove. It's just that, you know something, I don't think even 60s on 6, XM 60s on 6, I never heard anything about Ronnie Dove. Now, Ronnie Dove was not mega. He never had a song that went to number one for six weeks. Anything, nothing like that. But he was a presence. 1964, 65, 66, he was a presence of the top 40. You're pretty much guaranteed to hear a song by Ronnie Dove if you're, if you're listening to a top 40 radio station, whether it was WTBC here in Tuscaloosa or WSGN in Birmingham, particularly WVOK up in Bessemer. I want to read you. This is, just, this, this is a classic teen tragedy record. Now, this, this song, I will tell you one thing about this record. Tomboy is a forerunner of Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town. It is, by Kenny Rogers in the first edition. He grows up with this girl who's a tomboy. And then he might have a crush on her. There's some inklings of a crush expressed in the lyrics. And he it doesn't say it in the song, but he it's obvious he goes off to war. Vietnam. He comes back in a wheelchair. And she's fully grown. She's beautiful. She's kissing another guy. And he's pining for her. 
Let me read you a few of the lyrics. This is just, this is, this record, I'm going to, let me tell you something about Tomboy by Ronnie Dove. This is a cross between Bobby Goldsboro and Tommy, I mean, Bobby Goldsboro can be a bit tragic at times. Johnny Tillerson and Dickie Lee all rolled up in one. Maybe a little bit of Teen Angel by Mark Denning rolled up in that record too, Tomboy. When you fell and skinned your knees by jumping fences, climbing trees, I used to laugh and call you Tomboy. You'd run across the meadow while the sun would chase your shadow in those carefree days. I watched you, thinking I'll be smart. And in a while, she'll start to change her ways. But then I went away, and I got hurt pretty bad. They sent me home, and it's too bad, they bad, cause just outside my window, I could see the lovely lady, who two short years ago was just a kid. A car drives up, you greet your date, and then I sit up awful late, until you're safely home, my tomboy. You kissed that boy, I turned my head, and wheel myself back to my bed while teardrops flow. Sometimes you come to visit me, but I don't want your sympathy. It's only you I want, my tomboy. That is powerful stuff. Should have been a bigger hit. I mean, we're talking height of the Vietnam War. Fall of 68. This is just before the election of 68 when Nixon was elected president. Very narrow margin, narrow margin over Hubert Humphrey. But I only got that, that's it, 96. Powerful record. Bobby Goldsboro would have been proud. Ronnie Dove, a tomboy.